So I found the new and improved base 98. I found all the jump shots last year. I've tested every single jump shot in this game, both big guards and little guards. The only thing I have not touched is the 6'10 builds and above. I don't have any builds 6'10 or above. All right, I'm a guard. So we know that D Wade is the closest thing to the real 98 and Patrick Mills is the actual base 98. If you don't know how those look, let me show you guys exactly how they look. So this is D Wade. I'm holding at the same shot time and speed as you see me holding the other one, all right? This is Patrick Mills, same shot time and speed, same shot time and literally early, side by side. Both of them are slow compared to the jump shot that I'm about to show you guys. The problem with these bases is it's too slow. When you're in a comp game, when you're playing comp stage or pro-am, you're not gonna be able to do a regular hop back and score. Or you're not gonna be able to stop and go and, and shoot. You're gonna have to dribble as a guard. You're gonna have to create buckets. And dribble versus really, really good lockdowns. I have found the new and improved 98. What I would like to say is the new Meta jump shot, especially since we only have a few more months left. This, this is all I'm gonna be using. To me, it's smoother than Kevin Porter Jr., smoother than LaMelo Ball for sure, and smoother than D Fox, smoother than Harden, and it's even smoother than John Stockton. Those are the Meta bases. Everybody, some people use Curry. Unfortunately, big guards, you can't get this, all right? Unfortunately, this is not something you can get, but since we only have a few months left, you've already enjoyed the big guard builds for so long. Jump on one of these small little 5'11 builds and start getting right with me. Now, let me show you guys my new and improved jump shot. And then let me compare them side by side. One thing about this jump shot base that I slept on it before. I didn't know the right releases to use. But lucky for you, I found the perfect releases a few months ago. And y'all know me, I change jump shots every few days. Like every two, three days, I change a jump shot. But ever since I found these jump shot releases, I have not touched them. Whether it's my 6'9", my 6'6", my 6'7", my 6'4", my 6'1", my 6'3". It don't matter. I don't mess with these releases. I might tweak the blending depending on the jump shot base. As you see right here, I, I put more Oscar just because it feels a little bit more natural, especially for the fades in clutch situations. Since I do not have a 92 three ball on this build, as you clearly see bottom right, it says 91, right? For those that didn't believe me earlier in the video, I have silver limitless range and I shoot the exact same. Matter of fact, y'all seen last video that I greened literally a 51 smothered something that i have not been able to do even with a 99 three ball <laughs> so you get the point now this base will speed up your um fades and it'll make it way smoother especially if you have a little guard like this right here my 511 it's gonna make your fades feel smooth it's also going to make your standstill jump shots way more efficient all right so you don't have to fade every shot you can literally come out there and stop and pop Last video, you saw some stage gameplay with it versus a really good squad. I'm talking about all three of them were elite. Now I have successfully delivered the jump shot, the exact jump shot. Y'all know I don't hold anything back from you guys. Now you've seen me use D Fox recently. You've seen me use Kevin Porter Jr. throughout the year. You've seen me use Harden. You've seen me use Stockton. You've seen me use Frank Jackson for the base three video that I dropped. You've seen me use pretty much everything. LaMelo Ball, every single base in this game for the most part that is good. Jay Sean Tate, you've seen me use it all, right? Kyle Lowry, do I need to continue? Just watch any of the old videos. If you're new here, you want to see some other jump shots, just look at my channel. I've always released the good stuff to you guys. I don't gatekeep it away from you guys. Well, this right here, I, the reason why I never use this one is because I could never find a release to make it smooth. I couldn't find a release to get rid of that hitch. But three months ago, I found a release that works on both 6'9s and Little Guards. This is what I use with Kuzma on my 6'9 or my 6'6, six, six, whatever. And I use this with all my Little Guard builds. And speaking of Little Guard builds, this is my 5'11. 500 likes if you want to build video for this this week, all right? My 5'11 with a 97 acceleration with this jump shot it. feels like it's 2K22. Like, I'm not even lying. It feels as smooth as 2K22 when I stop and shoot. Now, I have gotten rid of the delay on my account, both of them. If you want to know how to do that, go check out my Yadman 2.0 channel. You'll see how to get rid of the delay. Don't don't be trying to make fun of me or whatever. If some of the stuff that you're like, oh, that doesn't work. Trust me, it worked for me. So if it works for you, good Send stuff. It. You right here, a quick stop and pop. Like I didn't do nothing but stop and pop. I was trying to do my crab move. I didn't get the right animation, but you see, I have no fear with this jump shot. I'm able to just stop on the dime and let it fly. Oh, I already recorded the video to teach you guys how to do the crab move that you see a lot of comp stage guards doing. Well, not a lot. The top comp stage guards doing or the top pro-am guards doing. I will drop a tutorial for you guys if you just, you know, hit that like button. And let's get 600 likes if y'all want that 
let's say next video i'll drop it next video if you guys get even a thousand likes i'll just speed it up to tomorrow's upload right or my next upload so you know what you must do run up the like button all right but as i was saying not everybody knows that this move and not everybody can do this move even if they saw the blueprint of it right but this was like my first few games trying to figure out how to do it and guess what i figured it out i perfected it and by the time I took this 5.11 build to the stage, I already pretty much knew how to use the move efficiently, all right? The more I use it, the better I get at it. So it's never perfected. Even when you already become an expert at it, you can always find new ways to do it better, right? That's just how everything goes in life. No, like I said, you see me do it right there. That was the fast version. I did it twice right there. I could have shot that shot. But what did I do? Send it. I'm just running around and playing around with this 511 play shot, all right? Because it's so fun to be able to be on a little build again and just go strictly offensive overpowered. And if I want to pass, if I want to have games, I go for eight assists. Guess what? I can do that because the attention that this little guard brings is like the old 2Ks, even with this adrenaline boost. And you see, this is my comp stage version of the 511. You guys haven't even seen my 511 that is strictly made for the park. That it can survive in the park under any Send circumstances. See right here, easy buckets. The three point percentage is, is again jutsu when you're going against a comp guard. All right, it might not be in the high 50s or 60s because we take a lot of shots that are not what you would consider smart shots and they're not easy shots. Running and fading after you do all these drill moves is not easy in 2K this year for sure, right? Especially with all these different shot timing um, changes. It's really not that easy. And then when you have somebody like me that constantly change jump shot, you see I'm open still right now, I'm open. But what do I do? I'm just Send playing it. around with them because the jump shot is so easy to green. Like this jump shot is strictly straight money, right? And that's why I'm not gonna hold it from you guys. It's Sunday right now, go ahead and slap the jump shot on. If you are a bigger guard, and you want this jump shot to feel more smoother, I would say tweak the blend in a little bit more to Halliburton, Tyrese Halliburton, instead of Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson is going to speed it up a little bit. But for the bigger guards, I noticed that when you put it a little bit more towards Halliburton, like on my 6'4", even on current gen, it feels a little bit more natural. I'm telling you right now, I would take this jump shot to war. I've done things on it already that I have not done on any other build. All right. That's how green it is. Or with any other three-point rating. And it's made me come to the conclusion that I'm going to use this jump shot on every one of my builds that it can be put on, meaning every build I have 6'4 and under, right? Because it's so smooth. 6'9s, you don't need nothing else than Kuzman Harden. You're good. You, you don't need nothing else. Let me ball if you can't use those. I mean, y'all pretty much already have everything. This game is catered to the big builds. And when somebody that has skill jumps on a big build, that's just not even fair no more, all right? Like when I use my 6'9, I probably only lost two games out of 300 right and those are games that I, I even have bad games sometimes on those builds but because they have such great defense and they can cover so much ground you don't need anything else like if you just want to win and that's how you have fun is you don't you don't want to try nothing different you just want to hop on once a week and play some 2k and, and and win guess what have some skill run three six nines you're good right but for those that like to do different things and have fun this 511 right here plus this jump shot is, is bringing back old 2k vibes what makes the game fun i really think 2k should make two different game modes one for the old heads that really want realism in the game that want to live their hoop dreams on 2k nothing wrong with that you know if you if you can't hoop in real life and you want to hoop on the video game or you're a good hooper in real life and you just want to feel like you're hooping in real life on a video game i mean it don't make sense to me Send it. but you want that 2K will, you know, make two game modes and then boom, Send you it. have those people being happy and then you have the people like me that, you know what, we love the arcade gameplay. We can hoop in real life, but guess what? We want to hop on the game and do some things that are fun, something cheesy. Like, I thought the whole point of gaming was kind of like an escape from reality. It, it tunes you out from reality, just like movies and stuff like that. But obviously, you don't want it to the point where some games is just nothing, but it, nothing in it is real. You want some form of realism, but not too much. But the way 2k can eliminate this is if they make two different game modes one that is arcade and cheesy like 2k 16 17 19 for those that want to do youtube and you know have fun on the game and be arcadic and one for the old heads that want to make it you know their main priority to play in the nba with lebron james right that that that's the way i look at it right i think that with cross platform that would make the perfect 2k everybody would be happy but i guarantee it you might not want to agree with it 
I guarantee the cheesy game would be the one that's, you know, the game mode that it would be the one that's more successful. It would be the one that brings in more views, more money, all that good stuff, right? You know why? Because people want to see something fun. They want to play something fun, right? And whenever you want to feel like you're really in the NBA, you got the game mode over there for you, right? I think that would solve everything. Anyway, if you guys want to see the new crab move next video, run up the like button, 600 likes minimum, and I'll drop it next video for you guys. Big up on the song, big up on my team.